again, on another subject that is going to be part of the globalist referendum, we say it is always uh, the trade agreements, the open borders, and climate is going to be a big part of the globalist trade issue. And there's a story from Real Climate Data today that was on the Drudge Report. 100% of U.S. warming is due to NOAA data tampering. And they point out, and, and, and i got to say this, they, they say there's been a one and a half degree rise since the 19th century. How many temperature recordings do you think they had in the 19th century? And go back and look at the thermometers they had in the 1800s. Do you really believe that they had the kind of accuracy that could detect a one and a half degree difference? Of course not. We've had here on InfoWars, the founder of the Weather Channel, he said in the beginning of his career, they would use analog thermometers with mercury in them. And he goes, the parallax view and all that, you couldn't get a one degree accuracy in your reading. So there's absolutely no understanding of that. Where did they make these recordings? How many did they have? Did they move the thermometers uh, from areas that were rural to areas that are now concrete jungles? That's the biggest problem. But they say the first problem, actually it's the second problem, has been their analysis. They said the U.S. has had very little hot weather since 2016. The percentage of hot days was below average and ranked 80th since 1895. They also say that this claim that temperatures have risen one and a half degrees since the 19th century is based on them faking the data. You talk about fake news? Here's fake science. Take a look at these, these uh, measured data here that they have and notice that they make an adjustment. And the adjustment that they make to the data gives them their increase. We've seen this all before. It was called climate gate. We had emails being exchanged back and forth between these climate scientists saying, hey, the measurements that we have don't support our models. How do we hide this increase? As a matter of fact, I was involved with a group that tried to get those emails declassified, tried to get them out in the public, said, show us your information. This was done on a uh, university that was a state university. It was used to create public policy. You were on the state payroll, and yet you're saying these are private emails? No, it was fraud. And there again, this information showed up with emails that were exposed. In case you haven't heard, InfoWars has become the most influential media outlet in America. We're making freedom go viral. And now we are proud to announce a new weapon in the epic battle against the globalist. InfoWars Prime. Where you can watch live, high-definition feeds of the Alex Jones Show. Plus, exclusive insider videos from the InfoWars crew and behind-the-scenes action. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash app and download today. InfoWars Prime is available right now for your iPhone or Android. You will have access to exclusive videos that you can't see anywhere else. And that means live coverage of events and breaking news on location as it happens. You can also take advantage of amazing deals from the InfoWars store that are only available for InfoWars Prime subscribers. That's InfoWars Prime at InfoWars.com forward slash app. And if you can hear my voice, you are the resistance.